Hello, I'm Sarkis, and this is Hookah Unlimited, and today we're going over direct chambers. Before we begin, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that you could get notified whenever we upload a new video. Continuing the series from the hookah chambers uh, common chamber video, which you could find right over here in the corner, uh, today we're going to be discussing the direct chamber hookah. Now, direct chamber, as I mentioned in the previous video, is something that I coined. It's a term that I coined. And there's a specific purpose and reason why, and we're going to be going over that today. Now, what we have are three different hookahs today, ranging from different price ranges and price points, going from moderately reasonable to quite expensive. We have the uh, Zara Spade Jr., Union Fibonacci, and the Stimulation Pro X. You've seen me review the Fibonacci and the Pro X, and I hope you guys check them out right here in the corner and uh, give me a like and a subscribe uh, while you're at it. Now, these pipes range in very wide price ranges. The Zara Spade Jr. It retails actually at uh, $99.99, uh, just stem and tray at retail. And uh, we're gonna be taking this guy apart and showing you guys an example of a moderately priced, a reasonably priced budget uh, direct chamber hookah. Now, to take this guy apart is pretty straightforward, uh, similar to the Starbucks Unicus that we did in the last video. Uh, the whole thing is composed of all aluminum. It's got one seam over here that's noticeable, which was pressure fitted into the heart assembly over here. When you take the hookah apart, you just kind of pop it out of the base that it comes with. And the rest of it is straightforward. Nothing really comes apart other than the purge, the hose ports and the purge valve and the diffuser on the downstem. The downstem itself does not come apart. But once we take out the grommet to expose the bottom and inner workings of the heart, you definitely notice something interesting happening. When you take uh, just this part, which is the heart assembly over here, and you only look at that alone, you see exactly what kind of heart this is. Unlike the common chamber heart that we described in the previous video, it's completely sealed off and it's one solid piece. In fact, this whole piece has no seams on the around it or anywhere it well, it was composed and manufactured from one belay piece of aluminum right here this chunk was probably a about a three inch wide cylinder block that was cut and then it was machined down to the specific sizes and shapes that you see here and then later it was a dr drill port cnc machine ported on uh, to create the the uh, hose port and the purge valve now this hookah again is only $99 stem and tray combination uh, at retail. So it's definitely an excellent budget pipe for a direct chamber hookah. Going over the what makes direct chamber special, it's essentially the opposite of a common chamber hookah. Where the common chambers were empty on the inside, this is completely solid belay piece of metal. And the way and the direction of flow of these type of uh, systems is basically when you purge inside, when you're blowing smoke into the into the hookah and into the base system, what you get is the direction of flow goes on an angle and straight down into the port at the bottom coming out. When it comes out, it creates a pressure inside the base and there's only one direction you can go and that comes out of the purge system. And the purge, of course, is a self-locking system, usually with a BB or a ball bearing that is light enough to be pushed up and release the air that was built up on the inside and the smoke that was built up on the inside. Moving on to the more uh, pricier and you know full on more luxury level um, hookahs where I call the Fibonacci a luxury performance hookah and the, and the Pro X, the Stimulation Pro X, a masterclass hookah. Uh, when we take these apart, these come apart a little bit differently from something like the Zara Spade Jr. Uh, you could actually take it all apart and strip it down, similar to the Octopus Nautilus that we did in the previous video. Uh, let's get started with the uh, with the Fibonacci first. You just take this apart. And by the way, you guys, as I do this, go ahead and check out the Fibonacci review right over there. And as we take the take all the pieces apart for you, we get to actually see how the heart and the hookah is put together as we strip it down to the bare minimal. And this is something I want you guys to take a note of. The fact that all these extra pieces, the down stem, the up stem, the valves, the ports, all these things, they're not really the hookah. What they really are is an extension of the hookah. The actual hookah is this. Everything 
starts at the heart. In fact, when you're designing a hookah, you don't start from the top to bottom. You don't start with the diffuser. You don't start with the hose port. You start with the heart because everything else is determined by how you've put together the heart. Once to strip it all down to the bare minimal, this is actually what the Union Fibonacci is. This is where it all starts. This is the most important piece of the puzzle. And as you can tell, this is a prime example of a direct chamber heart. Now this particular style is a little bit shorter. This is uh, made so that there's a, even less travel distance between where you pull and where it exits from and where you uh, drag and purge and, um, and use the hookah from. So shortening the amount of travel space increases airflow, performance, all, every, everything. There's too many positives to note. In fact, everything that determines a good hookah is based on literally the travel distance between where you pull from and where it exits from, essentially. But as you can tell, guys, uh, this is a prime example of a direct chamber heart. Unlike a common chamber, which you saw in the octopus nautilus, um, when you turn it around, this is all hollowed out inside. There's nothing there other than just the ports that are on a very relatively thin layer of, of, of steel. Um, and um, it's straightforward, guys. I mean, this is a prime example of a direct chamber. And as you can see, everything comes into place. Everything is even, everything is detailed beautifully and, um, and perfectly machined and in great precision. And that's part of the reason why um, the Union Fibonacci's hail is one of the best pipes on the market today and why it deserved the 8.9 rating that I gave it. Moving on to the Stimulation Pro X, what we find is something a little bit more complex with the Pro X. Of course, this is a master class hookah, so there's gonna be more pieces to consider. And uh, when we take this guy apart, and of course being a German style hookah, it comes apart very similar to the Fibonacci because the Fibonacci also is a German style hookah, even though it's Russian. But when you take it all apart, um, you see all the pieces coming apart and coming together exactly the same way, essentially, as the Fibonacci does. Uh, most proper uh, performance tier hookahs will adhere to this sort of system it's just because it's how hookah has evolved so that's the most efficient and most high performance possible result you can get unlike the fibonacci of course the stimulation pro x has this amazing click on system which makes taking apart a lot easier and the heart assembly is what you get over here uh, now the difference between the pro x heart assembly and the fibonacci is that these kind of valves and ports are all built in together so I can't really strip it down much further than than what you're seeing here and also the top of the down stem over here is part of the assembly of the heart that keeps all the valves and plates in place so when I take it out what you get is an incredible example of a master class tier heart system Now it's very different from the Fibonacci one, where the Fibonacci is more straightforward and uh, simple and you know efficient. Uh, the Pro X heart is a lot more complex. There's a lot of parts and pieces and inner working um, mechanisms and engineering going on inside of it. For example, you're noticing a lot more holes and whatnot. The important thing to note regarding a direct chamber system is not necessarily the number of holes or the fact that it's more empty inside compared to the you know the, the Union Fibonacci, for example, but rather the way things are machined and the direction of flow for the purge and draw of the hose and purge ports. So as you can tell, whenever you do purge, it goes straight down and it's completely locked and sealed, especially once you put the um, cover on and so that everything gets held in place. All right, guys, uh, that's about it. Um, this is the uh, explanation uh, and tutorial of the direct chamber hookah system and with that i bid you adieu thank you for watching make sure to subscribe on the youtube channel right here and hit the bell notification so that you could definitely get notified whenever a new video launches expect a traditional chamber video next week and other than that don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll catch you guys later deuces